few quick examples to show you how to construct box plots and comparative box plots in MATLAB in Excel. So consider this example shown here. Uh, you have a simple example of 12 students with their height reported uh, in a hypothetical scenario. So let's say you want to just plot the uh, box plot for this case. As simple as this, click the height. Uh, so I click the height column and then go to insert. Uh, so select the insert tab on the ribbon and then go to the chart group. And in the chart group, select the insert the statistic chart. And the, among the options, select the box and whisker, which basically is your chart, uh, is your bar chart now, or is your box plot. Now, in this case, it's a simple one data, one column data, and the, y, the X axis is meaningless. It's just a placeholder for uh, the label for X axis. Press, the, click it, select it, press the delete button and remove it. Now you can see that we have this data and the corresponding uh, box plot shown. You can actually edit the uh, title by double clicking on it and say uh, height uh, in centimeter, or let's say you can say box plot for height uh, in centimeter. So that's done. The other thing you can do you can select, click on the y-axis. Of course, you can go to home and uh, make adjustment for font size if that is too small. So that would be, let's say this size. Now you can see that there is no data below 140 or 130 centimeter and above 210. So maybe I can select my y-axis and then go to uh, say size. And you can see that, um, of course, this is the size for, so let's re re reselect again. So go to format axis, and then when you select format axis, you can see that you have a choice for minimum. Minimum is zero. Let's adjust it to minimum of say 130 and maximum is 250 unnecessarily too high. Let's adjust it to 220. So there you go. Now we have a better view of our box plot. You can even make it better if you want by just um, changing the maximum 210. So this is your box plot. Now you can adjust the width of box plot as well. If you click on the box plot, you will get an option. Um, so, so you under the series option, you get the option for gap width. If you change that, you can adjust the gap of this box plot or increase or decrease it. Uh, of course, when you click on chart element, you can add remove things. For example, you can add data label unnecessary. You can remove grid line if you don't like it, or you can keep it there. You can add a legend, in this case, unnecessary. If title is good enough. You can add access title. We don't need it. Maybe we need for the Y axis. So click access title and then remove the X axis title. We don't need it, but Y axis title is simply the height in centimeters. So you can say height and then in centimeter. Uh, if the size is not enough, click on the title, go to home, and then increase the size as you want. So, or make it bold, however you like. Make the title bold for for the uh, for the ch uh, bar chart for the box plot uh, as you like. So that's with respect to simple uh, box plot. What if we want to do a comparative box plot for the case of say uh, a two column of data shown here? So, let's say a number of students uh, reported for per each student. Uh, we have the major report and the height of a student just in a um, hypothetical scenario. So for this data set, we want to show the comparative box plot. By that, I mean, select the uh, label, then do a control shift down key to get to the, uh, to get to the bottom of this data set. And now uh, go back to the same procedure. Now that the data is selected, go to the uh, ribbon on top, select insert, go to chart group, select the uh, box and whisker. Now you can see a comparative uh, box plot is showing up, basically breaking the category since the major, there are only five majors here, management, marketing, accounting, info system, and uh, finance. Therefore it's shown like this. Now, one thing you can do is again, same as before, you're not utilizing the area properly. So maybe we can select on the Y axis and then in the range, in the access option, we can just say, okay, I can see that range does not go below 140. So maybe I, am, I, I would just focus for minimum 100, say 35, just test. Nice. 
Uh, and then I go for maximum. You can see that there is nothing above 220. So maybe I go to just uh, 225 to be safe for maximum. Okay, very nice. So now we have a nice utilization. And then same as before, this time we need x-axis actually because it defined the, uh, the major. It makes sense. It's a comparative box plot. We are comparing the uh, box plot and the spread of the height across different uh, majors. Now you can click on the y-axis as it is, go back to home, uh, make the adjustment for the size. And uh, if, it, if, if it makes sense, make it bold. Change the char charge title by double clicking on it to say comparative, um, comparative box plot. And then uh, same thing about uh, x-axis, click on it, go to home or any other method you would like, and then increase the size of the font and maybe make it bold. Now we have a much better in terms of viewability of the uh, comparative box plot. One thing we can do, is we can now, for example, add a click on the chart element, axis title. We don't need x axis. Uh, of course, you can say majors if you want, keep it. So, major. Um, and then for the y axis, you can just say height and in centimeter. And of course, you can make the adjustment to the label as well, right? Uh, click on it and then go to home and then increase the font size. Uh, to whatever you want. And then the same thing for the other one. Uh, increase the font size to the web level you want, make it bold. Okay, so that's nice. Um, all right, so well, there are other things you can do. You can, uh, again, add, remove the grid line if you want. So if I unselect this, grid line is removed, add it, um, and many other feature. You can, uh, same as before, uh, select the, uh, one of the bar chart, go to format data series and then make the adjustment if you want to reduce the width. There you go. So you can play this game and uh, similar features. You can change the color, of course, go to uh, style. You can, you can have different style if you want. Uh, and uh, aside from different style, you can have different colors. Go to color and change your color to whatever color you want. So you can do that. So this is a summary of how to form the box plot and comparative box plot using uh, a simple capability in Excel. I hope that this is helpful.